We've spoken about that. On and off for the last several weeks. How, um, you know, the, the, the Ascended Master, the Christ Consciousness, is attained by people who are so spiritually intent and with such infinite willpower. Your... Your ability to affect the world and affect even matter itself is dependent on the weight of your intention, which is essentially magic. Which, that is magic. The, the intense concentration and the focusing of intent and imposing the will, especially when it's done in conjunction with other practitioners, that is magic. People don't really have the wor a working, like a vocabulary to articulate these, uh, is, it, is it metaphysical? I don't know. To articulate these things. Most, most people don't, don't have it in their vocabulary. And if you don't have something in, in your language and in your vocabulary, you can never n even know it's there. That's why words are, are erased. That's why thought patterns are erased. That's, that's the style, but, but the coming back to the, the old masters there, uh, in order to sort of get the hell out of here, I guess, or escape, uh, deception, it, it requires a real, a real, um, density of spiritual intent, intention. And that is probably something that is what we, we talked about how, uh, was it Christ was, uh, meditating for three, four hours a day or something like that. I don't even know where the hell it came from, but that's probably, that, that sort of adherence to spiritual intention and meditation and fasting is probably what gets you there. Because I know that the, la the search of language, I mean, the search of knowledge, the amassing of knowledge, and the the grinding and the book reading gets you nowhere. When the languages are ground down, there are no words for anything important, but there are. We we reach for them and we grab them here. I mean, that's probably one benefit to this, the search for knowledge. At least you'll it may provide you with with the necessary vernacular. It may provide you with the necessary tools of language. But what really does it is probably the the uh, a, an emphasis on sp wielding spiritual magic for good. So it's really it's a really time to start start doing some heavy heavy meditation, heavy prayer, heavy fasting. I think that will that really really does it brings it brings one to the next level that you cannot get to. Just by arguing. Yes, you see, this candidate is doesn't stand for the little guy, man. It's big business. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Just as Jadis the White Witch used the deplorable word to destroy her entire civilization. <laughs> I know that there are words of real of real power in Etc. Etc. You know, and with geometry, I mean, it goes it goes on forever. There's a lot of things that you can use your brain for, and the worst of of all of them to use your imagination for is worrying and attracting, magnetizing doom and hell. So I like to surround myself with those things. Those things that could at least give you an opportunity to not get mired into a rabbit hole of wasted thought. There are things that are so big, so far beyond your imagination, you can only laugh at them. Religion does facilitate that path, but the people in charge of religions don't facilitate anything but chaos. And um, I'm not, I'm not big on 
committing to a specific religion, though I was ra born and raised into one. Just you, you, with all the deception in the world right now. Let me just leave it at that. I'm not exactly worried about the, you know, the, the Pope's commandments. Let me just put it that way. Or some, some things they assembled, some beast masters assembled in some dark dungeon catacomb somewhere. Put these books in, leave the rest out. I could give a damn what they, what they said. Everything, everything you need is already in you. I mean, I like studying the religions. The, the sacred texts have things in it that are mostly over the head of, of the average individual. But if you're, if you're doing the work, you may be able to, you may be able to grasp the encoded instructions within the books. King James took out all the war the parts warning about tyrants and control. Really, Sage? That doesn't surprise me. Some of the things I from the King James is are clearly, clearly hidden. Like like the the principalities or or the the, the god of this world. Things are clearly just glossed over real quick. Not not really there for emphasis, just in passing. There's good stuff in all the all the religions, King. But it but it makes me laugh. Doesn't matter what religion you are. Doesn't matter what religion you are. Adhering, adhering to things that men have screwed around with, or believing that there is there is one. There's a like a sort of a correct, a correct religion as opposed to a correct deity. I'm just, I'm just off the, t just rambling. I don't like the deception of men's things. Rather open-minded when it comes to other religions different from my own. It's insane to me. It's not insane. People are People are, you know, they have it canonized in their own mind. But just the the, the point, at least from my understanding, the, the entire point of of Christ's teachings and Christianity itself was to abolish the church. It was to abolish the control the control structure of uh, a man-run religion. That was the whole point! That was the whole point of what he said! People still are like, well, well, this religion is actually the truest. Excuse me? When you focus on the, the truest tenet of the religion, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is within you. You don't need a mediator between you and the creator. That is... That's the, that's the only thing that matters. I'm, I'm praying to flying spaghetti monsters. Please intercede between me and God and... I, I, are you serious? Will you get these people to sort of, you know, advocate for you? Who? Well, it says here, it says here that this guy did this. It's like, what? I don't even know what happened a hundred years ago. Mediator. I need a I need a government within a government to dictate to me anything. Oh, <laughs> like I wasn't born yesterday. Said only to the apostles to teach all nations, and only Peter, only to Peter, gave the keys and told him to feed his sheep. What's that? What's that mean? Spaka, you're telling me Peter was the only real initiate into the uh, the, the the mystery religion that Christ was in, initiated in? Is that what you're saying? That Peter was the only one? He taught that there is no church, there is no priest, there is no rabbi, etc, etc. The hell? And he says, go build a church? It just seems... I don't know. I have no idea. I just don't know. The next dimension is something that's... not easily comprehend comprehensible to someone that's been indoctrinated, etc., etc., into our deal. So, if, if you're going to get to another level, 
it's going to be a 180 into something that you never even envisioned anymore. That's why I grasp into the void. Because whatever is waiting for me, I am not capable of conceptualizing through my own rational thought and, ex and experience. Graham, what did I mean by a jealous god is a demon? I meant just that. What kind of creator is going to ask for sacrifice or ask for bowing and scraping and worshipping? You really think uh, the, the, the first needs that? You really think the all, the, the all, the one, requires that from people? You really think so? Doesn't seem, doesn't seem spiritually feasible to me. Though, I cannot pretend to understand the whims or requirements of a god. There's also that too. It doesn't make any sense to me. This god's jealous. Why? He's not the only one up there? He's jealous of men and women? What? Why? It's crown of gold, thrones, um, slurms, that's Jesus describing the kingdom of heaven in the way earthly beings could understand. That's, that's very well put. Crown, thrones, seat, uh, it seems to me chakras and uh, and pineal. As far as I know, the, the the crown chakra is even outside of your body. It's not even. It's not connected to something that you have access to without using your spiritual faculties. Either way. You can only access these things by spiritual vigor. You cannot access these things just by thought or by rational thought. Rational thought is dictated to you by those, by the people in, in command. There's a bridge before you that you don't know is there that you cannot see, you can't hear, you can't touch how do you cross it? well regardless, Andrew sure, Jesus walks across with you sure, sure that is the spiritual faculty of yourself clearly the way this world is right now, it doesn't matter how good all the religions are on this world, look how bad the world's gotten, something is wrong with all of them. And there's a piece missing in everything, and that's what I reach for. The void grasping, the bridge grabbing, after the Age of Enlightenment and materialism, we abandon God. You think it's your fault? You think it's been free will to move away from God? You really think so? You think it's been free will? You think it's been we or you? No. Mm -mm. Ultimately, yes, Veritas? No. No. When you have magic worked upon you, unbeknownst, unbeknownst, that's not free will. When you have a magic, incredibly elaborate tapestry of invisible magic, that's not free will. We're all responsible for the way the world is. We're all, you know, filthy sinners when we're born. Nah, I don't fucking believe that shit anymore. Anyone here feel guilty for being born? I don't. I don't, I'm not responsible for the chaos and the destruction loosed upon this, this plane. I'm not. You are indirectly culpable for perpetuating it if you don't 
bind the kingdom within yourself and instead get to the, the, the seat or the throne and use your own antenna or whatever you want to call it, magnetic field, to put out good and creation instead of wallowing and doom and guilty. I was born a sinner. Excuse me, sir? You're telling me an innocent child is born guilty? What do you think, I'm stupid? Sounds like a spell of guilt. A spell of life, a lifetime of guilt. Oh, that doesn't work for me anymore. That doesn't work for me anymore. And what doesn't work for me anymore, know what I do with it? I throw it away. I don't cleave to that which weighs like a millstone. No, I strip it and I cast it away from me. I don't hold it. I don't live with it. I don't eat it. No, no, no. I get rid of it. That's not the philosophy that's exactly taught by, mo by the big three. It's a little bit contrary to the big three. There is humility. And I understand humility. And I tried to understand it more. Sure, there is humility. And then there's guilt. And then there's magical weaponized guilt. These are the things I consider. These are the things I try to, to, to wield in order to see past what is in your face. What's been fed to you. But there's certain things that just don't make any sense to me anymore. That's fine. I'm my own priest, as is everybody here. On an earthly level, but you're asking why is why is it there that why is it there are why is it that there are so many men too small in mind to bust a big guy move and support their friends or feel happy for them, and to instead resort to uh, jealousy and the tactics thereof. I mean, you can you can judge these things on an, on an earthly, in an earthly way, in order to protect yourself from anyone's uh, filthy black treachery. But to judge them only in an earthly way means that you have to accept that they've been tormented their whole lives by life on this world. That changes. It, that, that means that they cannot be judged. You can protect yourself against them. You can stay away from them, sure. But you can't judge them. You can't judge those who have been tortured. Um, and even, even the people that do the most torturing in the world. You can't even judge them because they are under control. Pity them, Flapjack. Yes, yes. Pity them. They are not their own masters. People who do the wickedness on this world are not their own master. They're not. They're under control. You can't judge those. And you cannot abuse those who may in the future be your own judges. Not out of fear, but out of trying to get to the truest decency, the truest life. There are people that are vile. There are people that would destroy you and steal everything from you. Sure. You can't hate them. You can't judge them. You just stay the hell away from them. You protect yourself from them. That's all you can do. Whenever we invoke power, Dave, it it really 
snaps me back into into really 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 reaching for something and trying to, to pull something out and put it on the table and, and have it around forever something to something to, to pivot off of we were talking about pivoting I, I forget what the pivot was actually uh I, I really forget what the pivot was. Anyone remember? Something to pivot onto. To swing yourself. In a 90 degree or 100 degree angle. So you could be face to face with something you could have never even visualized or known was there. I, I'm trying to explain it the best I could. I forget what the pivot was. You know what I'm saying? Something way, way out there. To grasp onto and allow allow it to springboard you into a philosophy or something a methodology or something a chiseling that is against and away from your logical mental gymnastics we talked about the bridge Dave, we talked about the bridge. We talked about the pivot and the bridge. And it was something to the effect of... The bridge was... Sort of like Jacob's Ladder. The bridge is unseen, unheard, unfelt. Perhaps even unsensed. But you know it's there. How do you reach it if it's not within your comprehension? Postulating that Christ and or the Christ consciousness is what is the bridge and what you need to connect yourself with something that is outside of your conditioning and rational thinking, which is the spiritual quest. We were talking about the seat the throne, the seat, the crown, which could be the crown chakra, which is above your head and not in the mortal coil chakra system. It is outside. Therefore, perhaps, in an extra dimensional spiritual realm. That's how we started to talk about the bridge and the seat, the seat of the soul, everyone because anybody knows it's the pineal gland. I mean, who the fuck doesn't know that by now? You know? This is like something out of the Beatles movie, Help. You remember that? You think there's only just one? You think there's only just one? Authority? That's transcended? You really you really think so? It stinks. No.